You went to the cinema, didn't you? I did. You cheeky scamp. I finally went and saw Suicide Squad. Well, let's do it right. Come on. Now it's time for my favourite part of the show. Jack went to see a film. And he's going to talk about it without spoiling the film. And he's going to give a little rating at the end and see how good the film was. Thank you. No problem. I went and saw Suicide Squad, Liam. Oh, no. About time. Yeah, well, I was on holiday when it came out. And my friends all went to see it without me. And then I've been busy. Mm -hmm. So I finally got a bit of time and went, okay, I'll go cinema. Did you go by yourself? Yep. How did you find? Because I remember when we were talking before, um, I think it was Avengers or something, where you, you were saying that you didn't like going to the cinema by yourself. I'm not a huge fan of going to the cinema. But I prefer going with friends. Yeah. But when you don't like, have but any. I, I don't mind. I don't hate it. Like, if I haven't got a choice, I'll go to the cinema by myself. And how many other people were there? Because I guess... It was quite busy. Like, considering, I think there were three showings a day when I went to see it. So that's sort of winding down, right? Yeah. And it's, it's been out for, what, three, three, four weeks now? Yeah, yeah. So it must be towards the end of its run, I'd imagine. Yeah. So I was expecting it to be fairly empty, but it was actually, you know, there was I was sitting, ended up sitting next to people because it was assigned seating. Yeah, of course. But you know, it was fairly packed. There was still there were spaces around, but you know, quite full. And um, what did you think of it? Uh, it's not as bad as everyone's saying online. Yeah. It's better than Batman vs Superman, which isn't a hard thing to do. But Disagree, but yeah. Fair enough. Uh, the story's not great. Yeah. Harley Quinn's fantastic. Yeah. Will Smith's good as Deadshot. Yeah. And Joker. That's sort of Oh, uh, I didn't I didn't mind the Joker. I think he was in the film enough, which is not very much. Yeah, it was just the right amount for it to not kind of for him to not take over. Yes, and for them to if they want to do Joker stuff in the new Batman films, yeah, with this Joker, then it's it's enough that it's not going to have been like you won't go into the Batman film being like, "Oh, I know everything about this Joker." Oh yeah, there's still a lot to uncover, yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm Honestly, at the moment, and this is blah, 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 I'm more excited about what DC, like the potential that DC have, than I am with Marvel. My only my only question, Liam, yeah. is how many times do DC have to piss on their franchise for you to realise that they're not building up to something, they're just flailing? See, while I disagree that they're flailing, I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think what they are doing is being too reactive. So I, I, I think, and I, I again, it, this maybe isn't so much DC's problem, it might more be um, Warner Brothers, but to me, it, it kind of feels like the money people don't have enough faith in the director's kind of vision to, to do things right. Yeah, no, that is, like, to be fair, as much as I've ripped on BBS and stuff, yeah, I've heard that the extended edition resolves some of my concerns, not enough to merit me enjoying it, but yeah, I'll still probably you, you, give it a you, chance. Yeah, yeah. I've been t- I've been told it like extends some of the bits that I liked and deals with a couple of the things that I had problems with, but like the majority of the stuff's still there. But uh, yeah. I heard that Suicide Squad got that re-edit like right before it got released. Yeah, so I don't know how much you know about that. Wasn't what? it by a company that makes trailers? Yeah, so the company that made the trailers for Suicide Squad. So you know how the trailers went down really well because it had like, yeah. like the ones with all the music in? For some reason, they went, oh, well, people are liking the trailers, so let's give that company the whole film to edit, which is just yeah, mental. Insanity. And again, like we, we discussed this, I think, last time, um, movie marketing is just, it needs to be fixed. There's yeah, a massive I, I mean, issue. that's not even a marketing issue, though. That is uh, that is Warner Bros being like, yeah. well, they did a good job and people liked it, so here you go. That that's is the thing. like just a totally fucked up. Uh, that is the issue. That d- does seem like what DC's problem is, in my opinion. It feels like what's happened is they went, oh, Avengers did well. So instead of doing a Superman sequel, we're just going to chuck a load of heroes together and sort of have a, a sort of minor Avengers-ish thing. And their, then Their build up to their Avengers. Yeah. And then they went, oh, Deadpool did well. So we need to have more comedy because that's what people want. They want a lot of comedy. So I think that's where Suicide Squad felt very tonally all over the place. Because the, like uh, the ironic issue with with the Suicide Squad Deadpool thing is the thing people enjoyed about Deadpool was whilst yeah it's also a comedy it's and, and predominantly a, a, a comedy one. yeah but it's also the fact that it was allowed to be more extreme. Well, I wouldn't right? even say that. I would say it was allowed to be itself. Yeah, but it, but what? So so then when you look at what the Suicide Squad is, yeah, like the whole premise of who they are and what they what they're doing. Is kind of fucked up. Yeah. 
but they don't focus on that. That's well, no, not like their big deal. Well, that was one. And of you're the... like, that's the you had the chance if you were trying to copy the Deadpool formula. Yeah. Well, not only that, but Suicide Squad was their chance, and they didn't do it. Not only that, but also I think it was very much reactive to the fact that the criticism of Batman vs Superman was that it wasn't light enough. So they tried to inject comedy to lighten it up a bit. And it... who said it wasn't light enough? Was oh. that a complaint that people had? Well, yeah, because it is quite a kind of moody feel. Yeah, but it's Batman. Like, fucking, yeah, obviously. Yeah, exactly. This this is the issue, I think. Now, this could sound very arrogant, maybe. Yeah. I feel I'm, like... I'm that. Don't worry about it. I feel like people just don't know what they're getting. Like, they, they expect something, and if it doesn't meet their expectations, if it's different to their expectations, instead of trying to kind of rejig their expectations, they just whinge. So, is this directed at me because I didn't like B- BVS? No, no, no. This is directed at the fact that a lot of people went to Batman vs Superman and then just whinged because it wasn't the Avengers. It's like, well, if you want the Avengers, go and watch that movie. It exists. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's not at you. That's just like the general consensus that I was seeing online from the film. Oh, fair enough. Very much seemed to be, why isn't this more like Marvel? And ah, uh, okay. That's what I like about them is they're not... Yeah, Marvel. yeah. It's like, um, I think when I did my thing, when I was talking about Suicide Squad, I can't remember the exact moment, but there was a moment in it when I was watching and I just had that thought, you wouldn't get this in a Marvel film. And that, to me, just made me warm to the film a lot more because I appreciate the fact that they're trying to do something different. Yeah, see, but that's that. I'm fine with them trying to... I think they should do something different, but I think they're failing at doing that. Well, that's where I think you have this conflict, right? So you have the director who wants to do something different and then the money people go in, no, we want you to do this because we've seen how much money that makes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so have you also heard? We'll get back to sort of your your rating and stuff for Suicide Squad, but I I don't know the game the guy's name. It's like Jeff Johns or something. But there's a a guy who's been brought in to oversee the um, DC extended universe. Kind of like I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation, but kind of like what Kevin Feige, Fiji, whatever his name is, the guy from Marvel, what he does with yeah, the MCU. Yeah, yeah. Are you aware Sorry, of I that? Mean, I I hadn't heard that. No. So. This is a guy, he's worked on, you know, impressive stuff in the past. I can't remember what off the top of my head. Um, Very impressive. Yeah. Like, I, 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 the news broke, and I was reading a few articles about it, and it triggered, like, oh, yeah, that was cool, whatever that was that he must have worked on. But the issue that I have is he was saying, uh, his kind of response to everything was how people were, were always saying how DC movies are dark and gritty, and he was saying that he disagrees, and he's going to make a real effort to, you know, bring a touch of lightness and humour to them. Oh. And I I just don't think that's needed. No. Again, to me, it feels like they're going, oh, that's what Marvel are doing, so... Uh, yeah, that's We insane. should do that. Yeah, so I'm DC now... DC are good at doing gritty characters. And there's nothing wrong with it being dark and gritty. No. that The the Batman trilogy yeah. is the best thing DC have done in recent memory. Yeah. Probably, in the film franchises, the best thing DC have done. Yeah. So, like, I don't understand why they aren't looking at that and being like, oh... That's when we were successful. Let's keep doing that. Stop looking at Marvel and being like, let's try and do Marvel. And exactly. be like, oh, we already we already found our voice, or at least Batman's voice, which then could in, in you know impact the rest of the universe. Exactly. And this, so at the moment, I am very concerned for the future of this franchise um, because I do have a lot. Like, I think there's a lot of potential there, but they're misusing it. Uh, also, it was announced, I don't know if you saw, that um, Deathstroke was going to be the new villain in the Batman solo movie. I saw that he got. I saw that they cast the guy that's going to play him. Yeah. I didn't realise, is, is he definitely the big bad? I don't know. Because it might be... He's like a tertiary might, character. He, but yeah, he, uh, it's cool, I like Deathstroke. I, I don't really know a lot about him. Like, what's he's his cool. power? He's, you know Deadpool? Yeah. He's him, but without the uh, comedy. So he can regenerate and stuff. Uh, I, I don't know if he can actually regenerate, but he is that is his effective who he is in the DC universe. There's like fan theories that Deadpool and Deathstroke are the same person in alternate universes. Okay, I didn't know that. He's a he's a mercenary who kills for money. Yeah, he's like you know super good with his weapons. Like, oh, does he have healing powers? I think he might be able to like minorly heal or something. Okay, like, I know nothing about him, so it's hard to kind of be that. Like, I'm only excited for Batfleck. Yeah, I mean Batfleck's going to be good, hopefully. Yeah, and I, I, if, like, I can see why they would maybe want to move away from having the Joker as the primary villain, but I really kind of hope that, I, like how they used him in Suicide Squad, 
I want him to be in the background somewhere just doing stuff. Yeah. You know, I just want him to have a presence that's felt. I'm sure he will. The fact they've already, you know, got a Joker again. You, I, I hope so. Um, but obviously Jared Leto was kind of complaining a lot about how much of his stuff was cut from Suicide Squad. So I wonder how he would feel now about returning. Yeah. Uh, so what did you kind of give Suicide Squad overall out of five? Three out of five. And what what did you give Batman vs Superman for comparison? Probably like, I don't remember. But like, low, a right? A two or a two. one. Okay. So yeah, so an improvement. Yeah, and I think so. Are you excited for Wonder Woman? No. <laughs> okay. Any I'm reason? Not excited for, like I said, yeah, I'm not excited about any of the DC stuff because I've got my hopes up multiple times now yeah. and been let down. So I'm just not doing it anymore. I'll go see them. Yeah. And I'll be, I will be pleasantly surprised when they're good films. Yeah. Like I was with Suicide Squad. Not a good film, but better than I thought. Yeah. And I'm fine with that, but I'm not going to get my hopes up for DC until they actually prove to me that they can do a good film. What if they do a solo Harley Quinn film? Then I'm 100% down. It might not prove to me they can do good films, but I'll go watch it anyway. Yeah, because Margot Robbie is fantastic. The idea of Harley Quinn is fantastic, but yes. but like Margot I... Robbie as her is the best casting choice. Yes. Ever. What did you think? And again, we, we, we've got to keep this spoiler free, but like the big bad of the movie, I felt was a little bit kind of underwhelming. Yeah, it felt like it was kind of tacked on. Okay, that's not just me then. No, I think they were. I think they had the the good guys were the big driving force of that film. And good, we have sort of quotation marks around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the main characters. Yeah, 